my game of the week. Vikings at the Eagles. I am on the Vikings hype train this year, bro. This is a I great this, this is an incredible game. I mean, you're talking this about is be two high game. powered offenses. This is like what you want to do. I'm curious to know what the over under is. I'm going to look actually uh, while you uh, get your opening thoughts here. But yeah, so so my op- opening thoughts. I I think it's Justin Jefferson to the moon this year, and I think a guy like Kirk Cousins is just constantly disrespected when he is more than a serviceable quarterback i mean i have gone on record and even been one of the people throwing shade at kirk cousins but when you have a guy like kirk cousins and you have a guy like justin jefferson you're never out of any game justin jefferson is going to be treated the same fashion that cooper cup was treated last year because o'connell comes over and it's all about throwing 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 and you got a guy like dalvin cook you got adam thielen or if smith comes in as a sleeper tight end this team's going to score a lot of points they absolutely dismantled the green bay packers who in my mind have a decent defense so now they fly to philly which has been a house of horrors for them and the eagles have looked good now they gave up 35 points to the lions but I think the Lions are a lot better than people think. They have a good offense, and the Eagles gave up that many points. So now they have to get their defense together because in comes another high-powered offense. I am going to go on a limb and say the Eagles edged them this game just on home field advantage alone because the last time I took the Vikings in the playoffs in Philadelphia, they got their shit pushed in. <laughs> but I like Kirk Cousins, and I like J.J. A lot. I think it's Justin Jefferson to the moon, man. I think this the sky's the limit for this guy. What's the OU and the spread on that? Did you pull it up? Yeah, it is the second highest over under of the week, second only to the Arizona Cardinals Raiders game. So they're at 50 and a half in the in the Vikings Eagles game. I'm taking the over there all day, every day, twice oh, on crazy. Sunday. It yeah, almost feels th- like they thought it almost feels like when you have a matchup like this, when, like it, it, uh, everything always reminds me of that Rams uh Super Bowl, the Rams um the Patriots. I was thinking of Tom Brady. I was like, is he on the Bucks? No, no, no. That was the Patriots where I was like, this is it, man. This is going to be the highest scoring Super Bowl of all 13 time. 13 to 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's going to be like that low, but 20, yeah, 20, each team has scored 25 points. I guess it could happen, but I'm going to go with the Vikings in this game. I just think that the Eagles defense is a little too suspect and i think the vikings is just a little bit better than that i mean they look good against aaron Rodgers, but for some reason aaron Rodgers just doesn't like to play week one <laughs> we saw that last year too and that team could be a mess as well i mean that was a that was a game of passion for the vikings so in this game when it's not so passionate we'll see how their defense really plays kind of we'll probably get a better feel of like what the regular season is going to look like when they're playing out of division and uh this is i mean this is another just amazing game to to, to watch i think they they they're betting on Kirk Cousins and everybody was clowning him in the off season, right? How could you pay Kirk Cousins all this money? It's only a one year deal, so I think that he's playing for a contract, and that's the best. That's literally the best position you could put your quarterback in. I think the Raiders should have done that too. I don't know why they signed Derek Carr to an extension because I think he's too comfortable now. That's a that's a conversation for the Raiders who stink. Derek Carr stinks, but I think that you, you got Kirk Cousins where you want him. You have the best. It's probably the second best offensive weapon set in the league. Adam Thielen, obviously, and Justin Jefferson are just crazy. Most teams yeah, only have one of those guys. Like Lamar Jackson doesn't have two. a single guy of either of those guys' caliber, guy. right? So you have both of those, and you have a top 10 running back, a top five running back, maybe in Dalvin Cook. All of those things combined with an offensive mind, you know, that it's hard to say, right? We don't really know what goes on in the inner workings of the Rams. So it's hard to say, was this guy really the person designing their offense? It seemed like it was <laughs> so far. It really seems like it does. And so when you have a guy like Justin Jefferson, who is already starting to cook, I would imagine against the Eagles, it's going to be a little bit better. That's why I like the Vikings in this game. Yeah. I think I could see it going either way. I'm just going to take the home cooking. I know what it's like at Lincoln financial. I mean, these, these fans threw batteries and snowballs at Santa Claus, <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're getting Monday night under the lights. I think yeah. Jalen hurts has an opportunity here to really, he's kind of in the two a category for me as well. He's got an opportunity to shine. I think this might be his first um, Monday night football game. I think what you got out of Miles Sanders last week was huge because I think he's a bum. You know, they got weapons, man. A.J. Brown blew up. Dallas Goddard's more than serviceable. They haven't even mixed in Devonta Smith yet, and they run the ball. They run the ball, man. Gainwell. They they got guy. They got guys. Scott. They just rotate in. And I think if Nick Sirianni understands that, the way to helping your quarterback is by running 
the football with the personnel that you have and then run some 12 personnel, two tight end sets, just keep giving them different looks. That's what they did versus the Lions, and they managed to pull it out. I do think their defense was a little suspect. They need to put that new that new you know D, D, DT. I think his name is Jordan Davis. The kid is like six seven four hundred. Just put that guy in the middle of the field, man. And, yeah. and, and you know what I mean, like yeah. and, and, and and like just just say like wherever Dalvin Cook goes, you go. I think that that will make the the Vikings one dimensional and force them to have to throw to win, which it's very possible when you have Justin Jefferson. But I think the Eagles get their defensive woes together and win this game by a very narrow margin. I like them a lot here. I think the Eagles are going to win the NFC East. I think the Eagles have made as many strides as anybody. They kind of remind me of the they're they're like the NFC version of the Chargers. They just brought in piece after piece after piece, and they made all the right moves in the draft, and now they got to put it together on the field. And I think that they will under the lights on Monday. 